in this guide, we're going to be looking at another forum question. And the question is about the images not swapping for variations. On eBay, just for that clarification piece in there. And the question came in from Jay, and Jay asked, Hi, I'm fairly new to Magento, and for the last couple of years, I've been using company XYZ. That is another service provider. I've just tried to list a product with variations to eBay, and for some reason, the drop-down box is showing with the names of the shade, but the images underneath are not. Can you help with this? Thanks, Jay. And the answer to that is yes, of course, we can help. And it's basically going to be one of two things, and we'll show you in our Magento system right now for you. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump across to our system, and we'll catch up with you there in a few moments' time. So we've been jumped across to our Magento system, and th this is going to be one of two things. The, the first is that we're just going to quickly just sanity check that you've been and got extra images on your simple products for the configurable products or the variation which you've made on eBay. And the other thing which we're going to check on is that you've been and set your description policy to actually change based upon the configurable attribute in Magento. Now, if that was all, all gobbledygook, don't panic, we'll take you through it right now. And it's dead easy to do. So up on our screen, you can see right now, we've got some uh, women's slim fit knee high boots, and you mentioned shade in your product. So uh, our example is a pair of boots, and they come in two different colors. They come in brown, and they come in black. And you can see our variation products here. So you can see that there's a brown item here, and in size three, and we've got a size eight in black. Now, if we go into the size three brain, like so, so I'll just click through, and then on the left hand side, I'm gonna click on the images tab, and you'll see that we've got those two images there. And the, 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 this is the first thing to check make sure you have the additional images per variation. So, in this case, it's the brown example. So, when the customer chooses, in this case, size and main color from their drop downs, is that M2E Pro will get eBay to swap the images. Uh, based upon whichever image has been set on the simple product in Magento. And again, make sure you do have an image set here. You've got the base, the small, and the thumbnail set. And also make sure you don't have exclude checked here on the right-hand side. So assuming that you do have the images on your variations or on your simple products in Magento, there's only one other thing which it could be. And we can check this in sell on eBay and then if you could then go into configuration and we need to go over and check on your description policy. So we're going to click on to policies along the top and then scrolling down. We're going to pick our description to uh, policy. And again, you can see you've got the type of description over here on the right hand side. So let's click through on here and the field which you're after. And let me just scroll my screen down a touch for you, Jay is that it says change images for attribute. And this is the field which it's most likely to be. And because ours was main color, remember thinking back to our boots, we had brown and black boots, is that we would want to select main color like so. And what that will then mean is that when you list the item to eBay, is the M2E Pro will make the images swap for you based upon that attribute and that's how you can make your images swap now if it's always a good idea to have one description policy per type of variation so what i mean by that is that it's an idea to have one description template for products which have no variations so if you're selling a pen for example and it doesn't have any variations so just have a, a standard description to policy in M2E Pro and then leave that change images for attribute setting to none. And that would be all your simple products because they don't have any variations. And then for each type of variation which you've got, and then again, in our case, we've got one here for color and main color, it would be suggested, a good suggestion, that you have different description policies per uh, attribute set which you're using or configurable attribute which you're using. Now, if you've already got a description, policy already been set up, you can press the duplicate button at the top, then 
go and change the settings on here and then you can then go and change the settings back on the listing and then apply them and revise your listing and that's how you can get your images to come through. Dave, did that make sense? Made sense to me. Happy days. Jay, if that didn't answer your question, please let us know um, and you can just let us know in the forums and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Cheerios! So we hope you've been and found this video guide useful and myself, Matt, and me, Dave, we believe that to use Magento, you don't need a degree in nerd. And that's what we've exactly what we've been and done. We've been and created you over 70 full HD video guides on how to use Magento, all in plain English. And if you'd like to know more about myself, Matt, or me, Dave, and more about what we're doing at Understanding E, why not visit us at understandinge.com forward slash now. And we'll see you there. And for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you soon.